All right, I stumbled on something today that I thought I'd better share. I uh, made a new kind of jewel thief circuit here using a pancake coil. And uh, you can see it's blinking this LED right here. And uh, I made it uh, out of some weird stuff. This is telephone uh, line cord I got at a dollar store. And I was going to make one of these uh, bi filer uh, um, lits kind of fancy coils or a Tesla coil kind of thing out of it. And then I got it home and I found out it was steel wire. The darn stuff isn't even copper, it's steel wire. So anyway, I played around with it. And uh, for some reason, I, I got the idea, well, what if um, what if I made a, a, a like a jewel thief thing with it? And I wonder if it would run a jewel thief. And man, it did. It ran it real good. And it's running off one of my old concrete batteries right there, on the old cement batteries. And that's just quick creep, folks. Go down to the hardware store and get some quick creep mortar. And... Uh, Throw it in an aluminum can, sand it down a little bit, put a copper wire in it, and you got a battery that I don't think is going to wear out. It's going to hold that voltage uh, for a long, 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 long time. That's over five months on that one, too, just like the one that's running the clock. This is the loaded voltage. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's about half a volt. And that's my amp draw with this circuit, 3.3 microamps. That's right, folks. That's 3.3 microamps. And uh, this is uh, kind of reminded me of that Dr. Jones situation here. And um, there's a bunch of other people working with this. Laser Saber is too. And the circuit's really simple. It's just a simple uh, jewel thief kind of thing. And uh, the uh, way this coil is connected, it's a Tesla coil kind of thing. The way the pancake coils are done by the, the Tesla patent. And the only thing is, I'm using it in a jewel thief kind of circuit. And uh, I'll go real slow and pan this thing, so see. But it draws between 5 microamps and 3 milliamps on that uh, volt source or less. And uh, you can see the values. I put a big capacitor here. It's electrolytic. It's not a super cap. It's a 10,000 microfarad electrolytic. And then a small uh, capacitor here, 0.1 microfarad. Big, uh, big ohm resistance here to control the current flow. And then this is hooked up just like kind of like a jewel thief here. Come off of an NPN transistor, a fast switching transistor of whatever you want to use here, and an LED. And that's all there is to it. And I'm just calling this the steel wire pancake coil jewel thief. And uh, I'm lid motor. This is the uh, 11th day of October 2011. And I got this at the dollar store for a dollar. And I just wrapped it up like that and made this uh, this circuit. Now I'm going to take this off of this and put it on that battery. And you can see it go on up in the, um, the current and the brightness range. I'll just hook this up here. And as this capacitor loads up, it's going to draw a bunch of juice. And then it's going to stabilize back out again. And there's the there's the amp draw now weighing up there at uh, well it's showing uh, 235 microamps and the, the LED is now on all the way it's not blinking now I'm going to crank up on the potentiometer that's this pot right here it's a one meg pot and I put a hundred ohm resistor in here also and this so I don't bottom it out but uh, uh, one meg ohm. Uh, you could use higher, but it, it won't get the brightness out of it. Let me crank this up till it's bright. Okay, that's pretty darn bright right there. Now I'm only showing here uh, 753 microamps still at that kind of brightness and that's pretty darn good. Anything under one one milliamp, and Laser Saber and I are in agreement with that. If you can get an LED on pretty darn bright for under a milliamp, you're doing good. And that's that's what I'm looking at right there is a circuit that'll give me a, a bright LED, not a dim one, but a bright one for a milliamp on a um, a one volt or a 1.2 volt uh, source 
that's pretty good folks anyway that's that's what I've played with today and uh, you can get all these parts at Radio Shack except for that big capacitor you don't need to use that bigger one but you could uh, use what they've got at Radio Shack and this thing here uh, like I say I got it at the dollar store and what amazed me was its magnetic wire it's not copper it's steel and when you use uh, a magnetic wire in a pancake coil 